What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie watch. This time, my first time watching 1954's Them. Now, I am very excited to check this one out as it was chosen by the Flix Talk community during our monthly Patreon pick watch. And this is the first movie to kick off April. Also, shouts out to Jason. You're awesome for sending me this copy, my friend, as it was Ellie's pick for this month. And I gotta say, it's been a while since I've seen a 50s movie, let alone a black and white movie. So this is gonna be a fun creature feature experience. As more recently, I've been watching a lot of modern films. So enough talking, let's get to watching. But before we do, if you guys wanna show love and support the channel, always make sure to hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today where I do more movie watches like this, music reactions, and live streams three times a week here on the channel. Also, if you guys want to watch this reaction in full, uncensored and unedited, make sure to click on my Patreon link down in the description below as once again, I do monthly Patreon picks where I choose two movies each month that you guys choose for me at random to watch exclusively for Patreon. All right, guys, so that being said, let's just get directly into it. My first time watching Them from 1954. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat that old school music, man. The intro with the cast and all that. Definitely is a sign of the times, right? When it comes to credits like this, right at the beginning. Like just kind of occupying their whole first minute or whatever, right? All right, so New Mexico State Police. Oh, that's creepy. Imagine seeing someone out there in that vast desert just chilling what are you doing out here honey honey oh that is creepy i said there's a trailer about three miles ahead of you pull up to the side of the road you better check it out 10 10. looks like she's in shock say so, uh johnny spotted a car and trailer up ahead maybe she's from there this little girl's reaction is freaking me out what is it have a look oh dang Now, honestly, what would be your first thought? I'm thinking wild animal for sure. Unless you got, here's Johnny. <laughs> oh, shit, man. This is building the scene of a crime for sure. This wasn't caved in. It was caved out. Did you find anything? Caved out. I picked up just one. That's six or seven more scouted over there. Sugar. Yeah. The ants. They were after the sugar cubes. You know what happened to her? No. Oh! <laughs> what was that? I don't know. He didn't even see her. Already a bunch of spooky shit happening. <laughs> It's always so wild to me, those stores out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, hell. Oh my god. The ant did that? <laughs> I guess they got some mighty teeth, depending on how big they are. I remember we saw the trailer a while back, too, so... I forgot how big they are. Oh god. Looks like he was dragged and thrown down. What do you make of it? What did you make of the trailer? Yeah. Have a look at this. Sugar. I want to get into headquarters and be there when that little girl starts talking. But I'll stick around and ride it with her. Here we go with that sound again. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. It almost sounds like birds, like a like a flock of birds, you know. I like that off-screen kill. Fingerprints on the trailer check out real good. Mr. Ellenson was an FBI agent on an extended two months vacation with his wife and two children. FBI agent? Oh, so we got some important people dead. This is Robert Graham from the FBI office in Alamogordo. Got any ideas, Mr. Graham? None that make any sense. You know what that is? One of the officers even took it to a friend of his who teaches zoology at the college. He said he'd never seen anything like it. I finished the autopsy on Graham's Johnson. Do you want a technical or plain? Just plain, Doc. Get to the verb. Old man Johnson could have died in any one of five ways. His neck and back were broken. His chest was crushed. His skull was fractured. There was enough formic acid in him to kill 20 men. Formic acid? 
Thank you. Dr. Medford? Huh? Are you Dr. Medford? Mm, yes, yes, yes. No need to shout. Oh, you're the people, of course. I'm Bob Graham. And this is Sergeant Ben Peterson. All right. Pat, hurry up. Can I help? No, thank you. I think I can manage it. They're all waiting. They're all, oh, what she look like? Let's see. Uh, and then that guy's like, okay, all right. This is the other Dr. Medford gentleman, my daughter, Patricia. Pat? The daughter, of course. She's quite a doctor, huh? Yeah. She's the kind that takes care of sick people. I think I get a fever real quick. <laughs> I like that. So how come the FBI office in Washington sent that print to the Department of Agriculture? They weren't able to identify it. In what area was the atomic bomb exploded? I mean the first one, back in 1945. It was right here in the same general area. White Sands. Mm -hmm. huh. 1945. That's nine years ago. Oh, my God. We got a Godzilla situation. And after the girl, I want to examine the territory where you found the print. This is fantastic. I love the backstory. She's a classic case of hysteria conversion. Only a severe catharsis could jolt her at all. That acid we got? Acid? Formic, Doctor. It may provide the jolt you need. Dang! She put that acid in her face and she... Damn! <laughs> that was a cool kid freak out. Has there been any report of a strange mound? A cone-shaped structure? No, sir. Rather slim pickings for food, Dad. They turn carnivorous, what for a lack of habitual diet. Now look, miss. Uh, doctor. Why don't we all talk English? Then we'd have some basis for an understanding. Pat! The same kind of print. Over 12 centimeters. That would make the entire... About two and a half meters in length. Over eight feet. See if there are more. Now look here, Dr. Medford. Before we do any more visiting any place, I want to know exactly what this it is. He's getting them all riled up and they don't even know what the hell he's talking about yet. <laughs> Oh, that's a big sucker, man. Get the antennae! Get the antennae! Get the other antenna! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh, he lit him up! <laughs> they are... Oh, it's still moving. They're so lucky there wasn't like hundreds of them. It took that much firepower to take down one. <laughs> oh, that's great. What is it? Species appears to be Campanotus fecinus, one of the family Formicidae. An ant. An ant? I don't believe it. It's not possible. Probably caused by lingering radiation from the first atomic bomb. It's the stinger. Ants use their mandibles to rend, tear, and hold their victims, but they kill with that by injecting formic acid. We may be witnesses to a biblical prophecy come true, and there shall be destruction and darkness come up in creation, and the beast shall reign over the earth. Our first encounter, man, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. Probably took a lot of people to kind of man that thing, huh? Just kind of move it around a little bit. Search Abel to search Baker. Say over. Hmm? Then say over. Over? Go ahead, Dad, over. Have you found anything yet? Say over. I just said it. I know, say it again. <laughs> over. Baker to Abel, not yet. I love this dad character. Dad doctor. Dr. Dad. If you finish, say over and out. But she knows I'm through talking. I know she does, Doctor. It's a rule. This is ridiculous. Eh. A lot of good your rules are going to do is if we don't locate Over them. and out. Oh, now you're happy. Oh. Now we're kosher. Oh, my God. That's the mound. Firebomb that shit immediately. What the hell? Is that a, a rib cage? <laughs> Was that someone's rib cage? Bro.
Bro, that's the... <laughs> this is the other sheriff. <laughs> or the policeman. Why don't you let me go in there tonight with some bombers and wipe out that nest? No, no. Time is important, more so than you realize. The reason none of them have been seen during the day is because they don't like the heat of the desert. They forage only between sunset and dawn when it's cool. So half the colony wouldn't even be inside the nest tonight. Okay, that makes sense. Do you know that some species of desert ants dig down as deep as 30 feet and more? Well, then that nest we found today might go down hundreds of feet. Until noon tomorrow. By that time, all of them should be within the nest. To keep them confined in there is our next problem. Enough heat to drive the ants deeper down into their nest and hold them down for a while. What about phosphorus? We could lay it all over that mound with bazookas. That'll keep the surface area hot, all right. We then drop cyanide gas into the opening and kill them. How can you be sure you get all of them? We go into the nest and find out. Oh, shit. That second part of the plan, I think every nobody's on board with that. <laughs> Who's volunteering for that? Not me. <laughs> I'll be that guy right there. I'll be that guy. I'll be ready to shoot it with the damn missile. <laughs> They're going to heat up that whole area. There are more important things to find out than whether all the ants are dead. You wouldn't know what to look for. Well, you tell us what to look, look for. Look, Bob, We're... there's no time to give you a fast course in insect pathology. So let's stop all the talk and get on with it. There you go, girl. There you go. This is my line of work. Let me work. You're FBI. <laughs> Hold it. They're dead. They would have attacked us right away. That's kind of cool that we're going deep into their cave, like, for our next part of the film. Usually, all the creatures come out and invade the town, like the local town, you know? It's a nice change of pace. believe how many they made the queen's chamber and the eggs oh oh shit. a couple babies what's the matter Pat? they broke through they're empty well whatever came out of them is dead now right no not the ones that hatched from these now destroy everything in here burn it what i said burn it I don't get it. You two act like it was the end of the world. Well, it could be. These two empty egg cases contain queen ants. You see, newborn queen ants have wings. Two young wings? queen ants hatched out, dried their wings and flew away. And I thought today was the end of them. No. We've only had a close view of the beginning of what may be the end of us. Oh. That's haunting. Now, these ants and related species are common to most of America. They haven't changed in either form or habits for more than 50 million years. Wow. The big fellow there is of a savage species called Campanotus bikinus meyer. He's of a desert variety. Those white objects are ant eggs. Ants don't see well at all. They hear, smell, and locate objects entirely with their radar-like antennae. Watch this demonstration of power. A pebble has blocked the entrance to the nest. Note how the mandibles are used to grasp the pebble and finally pull it aside. Hmm. Now there's the same pebble on a laboratory scales. Balancing it is a dish containing 20 ants. One of these quarter inch long insects can lift 20 times its own weight. And that's equal to one of you lifting a ton and a half or more. Wow. Queen flies on. Does a queen ever fly away from her nest? No, never. She loses her wings after the wedding flight. Now she starts her function of establishing a place in which to lay her eggs and begin the nest. They continue to lay eggs 
from the one mating for from 15 to 17 years. Here are ants at war. This fight lasted 72 hours between those two alone. What in the world? <laughs> Won't you please tell us what you saw, Mr. Grody? I was flying south from Corpus Christi. I turned in from the Gulf, heading for the airport about 20 miles out. And all of a sudden, I see these, these flying saucers, three of them. They were shaped like, like ants. Listen, ma'am, when you what get on the outside... What direction were these uh, flying saucers going the last time you saw them? West, I'd say. Well, Mr. Graham. That was a good character right there. I liked him. How was your talk with Mr. Crotty? Well, I think you're wise to keep him locked up, Doctor. I've recommended his release. I'm convinced he's trying to pull a publicity stunt with this weird story. He's have absolutely no visitors. And if any information is given out about him, Washington will hold you responsible, Doctor. Wow, they want to keep it all under wraps. I mean, I understand. I totally understand. Poor guy, though. I mean, it ain't his fault. Oh, dang. We're taking it to the sea now, huh? Oh my god, they're fighting with some sailors? That Wilhelm scream. I definitely noticed that. I thought that scream came out after this movie. Could be wrong, I don't know. This flag here at Los Angeles indicates a lead. Mr. Graham and Sergeant Ben Peterson are there now to check a rather large sugar theft. 40 tons to be exact. 40 tons of sugar. My god. <laughs> what, they could smell it through the dang train? Where's the watchman now? City jail, we're holding him. The least you could do after spoiling my day off is tell me how come a government cop is so interested in this deal. He's got a sweet tooth. Got him. I don't think this happened in a machine. Look at that deep laceration across his chest. I can't figure it, except he died from shock and loss of blood. Thanks very much, sir. Not at all. Be back then, you didn't even have to show the body. Just talk a little bit about it, the injuries. Let your imagination do the job, right? Do you know where they might have gone this morning? I keep asking Dom to take them places and do things with them where they won't get so dirty. I, I always spend the rest of the day cleaning them, cleaning them up. Look, we've got to find out where he took those kids this morning. I don't think he could have driven very far the way he was cut up. Did you fellas make any arrests on your beat this morning, say between uh, 4 a.m. and noon? Yes, sir. Well, I'd like to talk to all of them. I do, gentlemen. Tell me something. You didn't see anything unusual yesterday or this morning, did you? No, well, they're gone now. I did see some little airplanes this morning. They didn't see big enough for them to get into. Big enough for who to get into? The ants. Jensen, what kind of ants did you see? Oh, big ones. Mostly at night I see them. Where? In the river. In the riverbed. Look at those big openings in the sides, like sewer outlets or something. Jensen, how long have you been seeing these things? How long have I been here? The doctor says he was minted first five months ago. Oh, wow. Pretty good model of a kid's idea of an L1. Yeah. Bro, if these kids are still alive, I swear to God. <laughs> Stem all right. Where do these things go? Don't know for sure. All I know is there's something more than 700 miles of them under the city. God dang, they don't even have to burrow. Like in the desert, they got all the maze down underneath this 700 miles? God damn. In the interests of public safety, hereby proclaimed to be under martial law. Wow. A couple of months ago in the desert of New Mexico, gigantic ants were discovered. Except that they are mutations, ranging in size from nine to 12 feet in length. Stay in your homes. Your personal safety, the safety of the entire city, depends upon your full cooperation with the military authorities. I'm surprised people aren't laughing at that news. It looks like they're more scared about the martial law, which I would be. Now, Dr. Medford, since time is of the utmost importance, I recommend we pour gasoline into those drains and light it. Not till we find out for sure whether those two kids are in there. Are we supposed to jeopardize the lives of all the people of this city for the sake of two children who in all probability are already dead? Why don't you ask their mother that question, mister? Yeah, she's right over there. Yeah, I see what you mean. This music is great. <laughs> Mrs. Peterson, stop all motors. Stop all motors. We've heard what may be the kids. Repeat, we've heard what may be the kids. <laughs> We're gonna get you out of there, but don't move! 
That scream again. <laughs> oh, he's gonna split him in half. I know it's 1954, but let's see it. Let's see it. There's more. Dang, they had to make a lot of these ants. I'm just like trying to count them all in my head. There's so many. Oh man, he didn't make it. How many times are they going to use the same scream? Come on. Oh, the wings. They're new princesses. New queens. Yes, this is the egg chamber. The same as we found in New Mexico. It looked like one of them was hatched, though. One look hatched. Pat, if these monsters got started as a result of the first atomic bomb in 1945, what about all the others that have been exploded since then? I don't know. When man entered the atomic age, he opened a door into a new world. What we'll eventually find in that new world, nobody can predict. What a time to give a little monologue, huh? The end <laughs> of them, question mark. All right, all right, and that was 1954's Them. All right, Flux Talkers, so once again, that was them. A very, very fun creature feature. It had its dips. It had its dips as far as, like, the slow points. I mean, that was the longest hour and 30-some minutes of my life at some points, for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of talking and whatnot, so I understand that's a huge part of the older era, and I can definitely appreciate that. And I was actually very impressed at all of the practical effects on the ants as far as how many they made, because I thought we were going to get maybe two, three large ants throughout this whole movie and maybe just recycle them and whatnot. It looks like they made a lot because they torched so many and just riddled so many with bullets. So definitely kudos in the production department of these creatures. Now the explanation of the radiation, obviously not the first time we've heard of a concept like this, but still, I don't watch enough of the radioactive monster movies to even really have a gripe with it. I was just here for an hour and a half of fun and I definitely got that. It was also actually very, very very funny how serious everybody was taking things. Like I had said, in 2023, if we saw on television or on the internet that giant ants were taking over, I feel like we would just make a laughing mockery of it. And I gotta say, the acting was pretty stellar along the way with the doctor, with the doctor's daughter, with our FBI agent. I thought everyone was fun. Even the sheriff, I believe, that died from the hands or the jaws, actually, of one of the killer ants at the end of the movie. I thought everyone did a very, very good job. And I don't want to make this review too long because you guys did see my reaction along the way so i think i'm going to give them from 1954 a solid three out of five I think if you guys are into these older black and white creature features or have friends that are this might be a good fun drinking movie once again shouts out to the amazing ellie for this month's patreon pick as well as jason for sending me the copy on blu-ray a very very fun one to add to my collection and thank you guys so much for watching the video if you guys did appreciate it please let me know by hitting that big thumbs up to like the video and consider subscribing today where i do more reactions like this music reactions and live streams three times a week here on the channel also if you guys want a chance for me to watch one of your top pick movies make sure to subscribe to my patreon link down in the description below all right flip soccer till next one i'm gone Peace.